Hey guys, happy Friday. It is Connor here. Welcome back. Hope you guys are all having a great start to your weekend so far. So normally on Saturdays, I would be sharing my weekly wax chat video, which is where I go over everything that I've been burning and melting and using in home fragrance for this past week. But um, I have a special video today. Um, the ambassadors were asked not to talk about this launch until August 3rd. And so now that it is August 3rd, I am allowed to speak about these. So instead of doing my weekly wax shot today, I did that video yesterday on Friday. So definitely go back and watch that if you've not already. I will link it down below in the description. But today I am sharing my Kringle Candle Halloween preview of a brand new lineup collection that we have never seen before from Kringle. Um, so I'm very excited to share these with you guys. Um, so today we are going to be talking about the second part of the Halloween launch from Kringle. Obviously Kringle Candle had their first part of the Halloween launch, which was yesterday on the second. Um, and so now that that is over, I am allowed to start talking about the second part, which is going to involve two brand new types of candles that we've never seen from Kringle before and Kringle was kind enough to send over one of those collections to me in PR so I'm so excited to share these these are going to be the spellbound candles from country candle so this is what they look like we have never seen these black jars in the country candle before. These are the same painted black jars that are used for the Kringle Halloween collection, the Kringle Reserve collection. Um, we all love and have seen them in the tumblers, but we have never gotten them in the country jars. And I just love how these look in the country jars. I think that these actually make the country jars almost look a little bit better in my opinion. I'm not always the huge fan of the country jars. I feel like I've kind of gotten away from that like classic farm style look in the jars and I kind of do prefer the tumblers at this point, but I love how these look in the painted jars and it just looks perfect for Halloween. I also love the lid that these have. It just makes it kind of spooky and just looks super, um, great for Halloween. They come off like this. They are these really nice lids. And um, these also, um, so what they are, let me explain what they are because we've never seen this before from Kringle, like I said. These are all witches spells. So each candle has a different spell to it. Um, so I'm gonna go over each spell. They have the label on the front. So this kind of tells you what, um, what the spell is. And then the back of it is the actual chant of the spell and I will read them all off. And then inside of the jar, there is actually these beautiful stones. So each candle, depending on the spell, has a different stone and I will read them off. And these are brand new. Like we've never seen Kringle Candle do this before. I have seen like little companies, like vendor companies, I feel like do this a lot with the stones, but I've never seen a bigger company like Kringle. Um, do these stones before and so I am so excited that they're finally doing this. I think it's awesome So yeah, each candle has a different spell and each candle has a different stone to it. So yeah, this is awesome um, I am going to go ahead and just give you guys some first sniffs today. I've not burned any of these quite yet I'm actually filming this pretty in advance. I'm filming this right now on July 24th So a couple weeks before this video will go out the reason I'm filming it so early is because I do want to get into burning these. My goal is going to be to have a post burn in depth review for each of these candles out by the launch date. I think what I might do is I might just do one big video compiled together of all of these and just give you guys a little review of each instead of doing the videos because that might just take longer for me to do if I have to do them each individually. So, but my goal is to get a good three, four, five burns out of each. And, um, you know, I'm gonna try and test it in different areas of my house. I need to burn it a couple times in the open area concepts like living room, kitchen, and then I do wanna do some more closed area concepts like bedrooms, bathrooms, stuff like that. So I can really test these out. But um, since I do have these pretty in advance before the launch, my goal is going to be to burn and review them. A lot of times with PR, we get it like the day before the launch and so it's impossible to burn and review but I got these yesterday on the 23rd of July and the launch date is not until August 16th so I've got like a good three 
three and a half, four weeks until the launch. So I'm really going to work on burning these and getting reviews out for you guys. So that's kind of why I'm filming this so in advance because I want to show you guys what they look like before unburn. But I'm actually, I actually already know which one I'm going to light up today, my favorite one, which I'll tell you guys in a second. But um, I'm going to get started burning on these. I really want to get reviews out. So that's kind of why I'm filming ahead so in advance. But um, before we get into smelling these, I just want to give you guys some basic information. First of all, like I said, the launch date is on August 16 at 12 a.m. EST. So this is going to be very early in the morning of the 16th or super late at night for the 15th. So PST, it will obviously be 9 p.m. on the 15th. So um, be there for the launch. Um, I Obviously the first launch has not happened yet because I am filming this in advance. So I don't know how like the stock is gonna be, what's the quantity gonna be like. I don't know if things are gonna just sell out super quickly or not. And I don't really know what, like how many they have of these ones. Um, so if you're interested, I don't want to encourage like Hunger Games style, but if you're interested, I would probably try and stay up and order these um, pretty quickly. Cause if things go like they have in the past, these will likely sell out pretty quickly from Kringle, especially that they are like a newer collection. I think that people are going to be clamoring to get these, these new country candles. And so, if you're interested, I would try and stay up and be there. I wouldn't risk it if you need like to get the entire collection. I would not risk sleeping in and then waiting till the next morning. If you really want these so that you don't get disappointed, I would stay up and order them then. Um, I don't have any details on pricing or anything. I'm guessing that these will be 34 like most of the other country candle or no, the other Kringle candles are. The normal country candles are 31, but the black ones are 34. I don't know if these will be a little bit more expensive maybe because of the stones. Maybe they will. I could see that and that would make sense to me, but I hope that they're not. I hope that they're only 34, but um, they will. I'll let you guys know in the description box if I'm able to find out the pricing. Uh, but yeah, that is basically it. I want to go ahead and get right into these. These do have the notes on the bottom, so I'm just going to read these off, give you guys my first sniff impressions. You will actually be surprised. I don't hate any of these. Um, as I've said in the past, I'm not always a huge Halloween person. I love the actual holiday of Halloween. I think it's super fun. I love dressing up. I love seeing everybody's costume. I love candy. I just love the whole vibe of Halloween. But I don't actually like Halloween scents a lot of the times because they normally tend to be very kind of dirty like witches brew type scents. Like I'm not a big fan of patchouli. I'm not huge on licorice. I don't like super incense-y scents normally. So I'm not normally a big fan, but I feel like a lot of these scents are done really well. There's a couple that I like more than others. There's a few that I like don't love, but they're not awful. They're not like last year where I had to burn them outside on the porch because I couldn't stand to smell them in my house. These are all scents that I think I'll actually be able to enjoy. So I'm really happy um, that these are not super like out there fragrances sometimes are like dirt and like you know they're just like dead garden and it smells like gross so i'm glad that none of these smell awful um i'm sure in the kringle line there are a couple that do smell like that but these seem to be pretty mild so i'm happy about that but um yeah let's go ahead and get right into it i want to start off with my favorite one which is the limerence and light so this one is the love spell. This one is, like I said, they all have different spells. This one is the love spell. This one has a beautiful heart on it. This is the label. I love the look of the gold. It just really works well with the black. And then um, I'm going to read the chant. The chant is on the back right here. So the chant of this one says, hearts entwined love sweet embrace lust and desire passions grace and love's embrace souls interlace bound by love in every space so that is the chant for this one and then the notes that we have on here are cedarwood marine water green peach skin autumn patchouli sandwood feather musk, black vanilla, amber, and tonka. So there is a lot going in here. When I first smelled this one, I was like, wow, there's a lot going on in here. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this, but you guys, when I smell it, it's amazing. Um, the stone on this one is rose quartz, by the way. So this is the stone. It's got this beautiful rose quartz color to it. I hope you guys can see that pretty well. This is so pretty. And the fragrance, you guys, 
Oh my goodness, I love this one. This smells like a beautiful, sexy perfume, honestly. It smells super, just like, it smells like love. Like it just smells super nice. It, I don't even really know how to describe this scent. It's such a unique, beautiful fragrance. But um, I don't even really know how to describe it. It smells super smooth. It almost does have like a vanilla or like a ton, excuse me, like a tonka to it. Um, I know that that is in the notes. Um, I do get a little bit of like a sandalwood, slight patchouli, but the patchouli in here is done really nicely. It's a beautiful patchouli, not like a dirty patchouli or anything. This is a really beautiful patchouli. It kind of smells like a perfume. It almost gives me slight like Bath and Body Works into the night vibes where it's kind of like this musky, sensual, um, perfumey type scent. It's really pretty. If you like those more conceptual perfume scents, I think you'll like this one. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. I think that this is so good. I think that this will make a great bedroom fragrance. Like if I could have my bedroom always smell like this, this is what I would want it to smell like. This is stunning. I love this scent. So if you're reading the notes and you're like, wow, that sounds kind of crazy. I know it's got like peach and marine and patchouli and vanilla and tonka. It's got a lot of stuff going on, but it comes together to make this beautiful fragrance. I love this one. This is definitely my favorite so far. So yes, this is the Limerence and Light, which is our love spell candle. Okay. Let's do one that I don't hate, but is not my favorite. It is the Spirits Call. This one has a skeleton head on it with some snakes wrapped around it. The chant on this one, again on the back, says, by candles glow and shadows deep, I call upon the spirits here to speak. Open the veil between this world and the next, let their wisdom flow and their messages be blessed. So this one is calling on spirits. Um, so yeah, uh, the stone on this one, what is it called spirits call? This one is labradite. So this one has a kind of gray stone. This one has like a black gray stone and this definitely fits the fragrance well. Let me go ahead and read off the notes. The notes on this one are smoked pumpkin. I'm not gonna pronounce this right. I've seen it before from Kringle. Guacyac wood, I think that's how you say it. Guacyac, I don't know, who knows. I've seen the note, Kringle loves to use that note. Uh, clove, wood, cedar wood, and autumn patchouli. Okay, I don't hate this scent, but it's definitely more out there. It is very smoky. That's the first thing that I pick up is this very smoky smell. It's like a bonfire, but not like a marshmallow fireside type scent. It's like they took marshmallow fireside and took out the marshmallow and you're just getting that fireside. So it's very heavy on like the smoky bonfire smell. I do get like a little bit of that patchouli in here. It's definitely not quite as nice as, of a patchouli that like is in the limerence and light one, but it's not awful. It's not like the witch's brew patchouli, which I hate. That one smells just like gross to me. No offense if you like that one, but it definitely, I feel like if this had more sweetness to it, I would like it more. This actually might smell kind of good with this Limerence and Light. I think that this could actually be a pretty good combo and I think it would help me to enjoy this one a little bit more. You do also smell a little bit of that pumpkin, by the way. It's very much in the background though, but if you kind of like this more like pumpkin woods type scents and a lot of smokiness, bonfire smell, I think you'll like the spirits call. Not awful, just not really my favorite. It is probably one where I would enjoy burning it outside a little bit more. I do like to burn outside on our porch. I read out there. Um, we're out there all the time, especially during the summer. And this smells like a good one that I would like to light up out there because it definitely has like a smoky bonfire smell to it. But yeah, it's not my favorite, but it's not awful. I do kind of like this one. I think it's definitely important to kind of step out of your normal comfort zone with fragrance and try different things. So yeah, I'm excited to get this one started up. So this is the Spirits Call. The label is super creepy on that one. Um, okay, let's go back to another one that I like. Let's do Fortune's Beacon. Okay, so this has the Illuminati sign on it, which is very interesting. I think that this is like the money wish or spell. 
Um, the chant on this one says, wealth and fortune come to me, abundance flow, prosperity be free, success and joy in every part, fortune's beacon I now impart. So this is like the money spell. And this one has Aventurine, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry, I'm like, I got these off of a video that the ambassadors were given and I think that that is what this stone is. It's a green stone um, and I had to look it up. This is Aventurine, I think is what you call it. Um, it's really pretty though. I love this color and it's a beautiful stone. Um, the notes on this one read, Jasmine, green, hyacinth, clover, wood, and musk. This is really pretty. I love this. If you like florals, you will really like this one. It's got a beautiful white floral smell to it. I definitely get some hyacinth. Hyacinth is a note where I really like it if it's sweet, but if it's not, it can just be really kind of powerful and a little bit too extreme almost. But it's like a sweeter hyacinth, done really nicely. I also think that the jasmine is making that hyacinth a little bit more sweet and just a little bit more enjoyable. I love the white floral that I'm getting in here. Um, there is definitely some green in here. It definitely has like a, almost like a grassy smell to it. Not in a bad way, but like it works well with the floral that I'm smelling. It definitely has like a greenery smell, almost like bamboo. Like, you know how like bamboo fragrances have that specific smell to them where it kind of smells green and naturey and a little bit floral. That's what I get in here. It's really pretty, you guys. I don't get a ton of the wood and I don't really get a ton of the musk. Um, I'm not really sure what clover smells like. I'm guessing that that's really similar to the green, but I really like this one. It's a beautiful floral. And I think if you like those types of scents, you'll really like this one. It is one where I would probably burn it more during the springtime than like the fall, but I think that this is a really well done scent. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. This is definitely more my style. It's not super spooky and Halloween smelling. This is definitely more floral and pretty. Um, let's do another one that is not my favorite, but again, not awful. This is the Gardens Vigil. Um, this one is the, I think that this one is like the protection spell. The chant is wards and shields surround this space, guardians vigil in every place, banish darkness, keep evil at bay, protect and shield both night and day. So this is definitely like a protection spell. Um, and this is the label on this one. It's got a star here. Okay, the notes on this one are patchouli, spice, fur resin, herbal, amber, and green. So, oh, I forgot to say the stone on this one. This one has amethyst. So it's got this really pretty like purple amethyst color. Um, this one's not bad either. It actually smells kind of similar to the spirit's call, but I think it's a little bit better because it smells to me more sweet. Like it does have smokiness to it. This one definitely has a slight smokiness to it as well. And I think it kind of comes from like that patchouli and spice. It does also have a slight herbalness to it. Um, I feel like it kind of smells similar to, I'm not gonna say it's an exact dupe, but do you guys remember when Kringle did that herbs and spice candle in the reserve line a couple years ago? I think it was last summer they did that one. This has kind of the same vibe where it's like, herbal, a little bit spicy. There is patchouli in here as well, but the patchouli is again done really nice. I'm actually really impressed. Krangle, the patchouli in here, I'm actually, I wouldn't say I'm enjoying it necessarily, but I'm not hating it. It's not like awful. I'm not craving it, but it's not awful. It's not like unbearable. This is actually really pretty. I like this one. It's definitely different. This is very kind of spicy and herbal. Um, if you like that type of scent, it does almost have a slight incense smell as well um almost like an incense shop but i don't i don't hate this this is pretty pretty nice i like it it's very interesting we'll have to see how i like it better when burning it's another one where i would probably enjoy it a little bit more outside but it's not an awful scent and i do actually think i like it more than the spirits call because it smells less intense if you want more of like a smoky intense scent this is the one for you, the spirits call. But if you want more spice and um, herbal and a little bit of patchouli, but not so intense, I would check out the Guardian's Vigil. All right, we got two left, you guys. Let's do Purifying Radiance. So this one is like a cleansing 
spell. It's like purify, cleanse. This is a positive spell. This one has the quartz stone. So this is, um, I can't get the lid off on this one. There we go. Also, some of the stones are loose in this one. So I'm actually just going to pour it out. I, I'm wondering if these are going to fall out. I hope not. I think that they are like melted in the wax. So they shouldn't fall out, but some might get loose like these ones right here. This one has a clear quartz stone. So really pretty there. Um, so Purify and Radiance, the spell on this one says, sweep away all negativity, purify and cleanse my energy by the power of fire, earth, air, and sea, bring purity and light to me. I like this one. This is very positive. <laughs> um, this one is notes of sage, ozone, green, floral aldehydes, mint, and wood. And this is really pretty. I really like it. It's kind of similar to the Fortune's Beacon where it has a floralness to it. This is a really pretty floral with a hint of a mint smell. You do get the mint in here, but it's a really nice mint and it complements the floral and the green that is in here. And it's not overdone. Sometimes mint can just overtake and overpower, but it's nice. It's definitely just mint. It's not like eucalyptus or anything. I just get some mint. It's really pretty, you guys. I love this one, actually. It's beautiful. It's got some green to it, sage, green, um, floral, it's it's a floral green mixture. It does have a slight herbalness to it, but I love this one. It's so pretty. It does say ozone. It's definitely a little bit fresh and ozone-y. Um, and I hate to say like this smells just like this candle and I don't want to do that, but this does remind me a little bit of one of the first Kringle candles that I ever had called Dew Drops. I think that's what it was called. This kind of smells like that where it's super fresh and earthy and just clean. It almost has like a rain smell to it. This one's really pretty. I like this. And if you're afraid of that mint, don't be. It's actually done really nicely in here. I'm just going to put these stones back in here. I think probably when I light this up, oops, let's not drop it. I think when I light this up, um, these stones will probably melt back into the wax there. But that is the Purifying Radiance. And this has, I think I forgot to show you guys the label. This one has some witches um, sticks on here, these broomsticks. All right, the last one is called Hexes on My Exes. So this is a spell for all of your exes. And oh, I hate that I ended with this one. I wish I would have ended with one of the more positive ones. This one's not super positive. This one says, from darkness rise, let the curse begin. Let agony and sorrow fill their skin. Withered and cursed, love turned to dust. Bring pain and misery as I must. So yeah, very negative for your exes. This one has some floral roses on the cover. And this picture will definitely make sense once I smell the scent. The notes here are... Floral, rose, jasmine, violet, sandalwood, fruit. There are a lot of florals in here. I was kind of surprised. I don't feel like normally Halloween gets florals. It's gross scents normally, like I said, but a lot of florals in here. I'm happy about that. So yes, this is rose. It smells very rosy. It has like a tea rose smell to me, which is really pretty. And it does have a little bit of, again, I'm, I'm, I hate to do this, but I feel like people do also find it helpful, like comparing this to other candles. Not saying this is a spot on dupe, but if you liked the Kringle, oh, I'm forgetting what it was called. It was that rose candle that they had in the reserve lineup this year earlier. I think it was called, oh, I forget what it was called. It was that black rose candle. It was so pretty. This kind of smells like that to me. Um, this is really nice. It's definitely rose, but it's not overdone. I don't actually normally like rose fragrances. That's one floral where I don't normally like it because I just think it can be too intense, but this is a really pretty rose. I do also get um, the jasmine and the violet. It kind of helps to support it, but the main floral is definitely the rose in here. There's a little bit of like a sandalwood, kind of giving it like this musky smell, but this is beautiful. If this was like a personal fragrance, I think that this would be beautiful, but um, I love this one. Even just being rose, I really like it. Cause like I said, I'm not normally huge on rose. And if you liked that rose candle from earlier this year, I can't remember what it was called, but whatever it was, this, this smells kind of like it, but I love this one. So 
Yes, guys, that is our spell collection. Um, I'm really happy with these candles. I was honestly a little bit nervous because whenever Kringle sends their Halloween stuff, there's normally a couple that I just cannot bear to burn in my house. So I was a little bit nervous that there would be some misses, but I don't hate any of these. There are a couple that I don't love. Like for example, I don't love Spirit's Call, but um, none of these are like awful to the point where I'm not gonna be able to burn them. So I'm really happy you guys. And I think that this is such a unique collection. I love the look of the black jars. I love the lid. I love the stones. I think it's super cool and great for Halloween. And um, Kringle just kind of keeps stepping up the bar. I always go, what are they gonna do next year? Like. You know, how are they gonna beat what they did in previous years? And I feel like they did that this year. So I'm really happy with it. So um, yeah, if you guys are interested, these are launching on August 16th at 12 a.m. EST. Um, again, not to, you know, support a super like Hunger Games style of shopping, but if you wanna get this, if you wanna get the whole collection, I would probably make sure that you're there for the launch and be ready to go. You can use my code at Connor15. That is gonna save you 15% off on your order. These should not be on sale or anything. It's gonna be a full price launch. So definitely make sure that you use either my code or another ambassador's code to save some money or use your points as well. You know, if you have rewards, definitely do that instead. But you can always use my code at Connor15 to save some money. But um, yeah, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much again to Kringle for sending these over. I really appreciate it. And um, stay tuned, everyone, for reviews. I'm going to get started burning. Like I said, I'm going to start with the my favorite one. Where is it? Limerence and Light. This one I'll be starting with. But uh, I do plan on getting reviews of all of these. So here we go. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being here today. Please leave me a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.